data science on Azure 101 series. For this video, we're going to be talking about the roles involved in a data science project. First off, we have the data scientist. This may be for some of you the only role you've heard of, and in some departments, this is the only person responsible for data science. We also see that a lot of companies are trying to hire a data science unicorn, which can do everything there is to be done around a data science project by themselves. However, this is not necessarily what their main responsibilities should be. We define the role as more specific. So what does a data scientist do? While definitions may vary, the main responsibilities of a data scientist is to get insights out of data using what we call advanced analytics. These can be descriptive when you're understanding something better based on data or predictive when you're making predictions about the future based on what happened in the past and what your models are telling you. Data scientists create machine learning models and they usually have a good understanding of the statistics and mathematics behind those models. And that's their main purpose, or at least it should be. Research shows that most data scientists spend the biggest portion of their time focusing on data, cleaning it, sourcing it, getting access to it. All these things can take up a lot of time. And while some parts of the data processing do fall within a data scientist's responsibilities, this is where a data engineer comes in. To make this process more efficient, they're the ones who are going to be focusing on the data that the data scientists need. This can mean ingestion from different sources the data is located, if it's in an on-premise location, if it's on the cloud, if it comes from a different application. Data engineers will create the pipelines and the transformations to get the data from its source to somewhere the data scientists can use it and have it be in the right format. They can do data transformations, data validations, or different types of operations on data that we call data wrangling. In some cases, there's a bit of an overlap to where a data engineer's job ends and a data scientist's job begins. For example, there are certain transformations like normalization or feature extraction or feature selection or removing certain elements from the data source that the data scientist is better suited for since those are directly related to the kind of model you're going to apply on that data. However, other operations like SQL queries to get data from multiple sources and put it into one data set, that's more obviously in the data engineer's court. For the third role, we're going to look on the other side of the data scientist. Once the model is completed and it's performing well, it needs to be put into production or integrated with another application. That's where the AI engineer comes in. There's someone who doesn't necessarily create the machine learning model, but rather takes the results from the data scientist and includes it into a solution. And not just the data scientist, they can use different out of the box AI capabilities like Microsoft's cognitive services. We have things around text analytics, computer vision, or language detection. You can take those models that show up as endpoints and as an AI engineer, put them into an AI solution and create something around them. AI engineers make solutions with AI. They also validate and monitor them and make sure that these solutions are reliable. Now with these three main roles, you can cover a starter data science department or you can have enough for most data science projects. However, there are also other roles that are involved in this process or can exist in different companies. For example, we have the data analyst. Now, this can be someone who comes from a business background, but can still create insights out of data. He comes in in situations where machine learning is not needed, but you can still do some types of advanced analytics. Think of detecting patterns in data or anomalies, finding outliers, finding correlations, or bringing together different types of data and creating visuals or dashboards that can be shared with the business side or with any stakeholders. These can provide valuable information or insights that can lead to business decisions. And we also have machine learning engineers. In some cases, this is synonymous with AI engineers, but it can also be someone that is in between a data scientist and an AI engineer. So someone who makes machine learning models and puts them into an application. But without the scientist word added to it, it may sometimes mean that they don't necessarily have the statistics or mathematic background but they can still create machine learning solutions. Different companies and different departments will have different definitions for these roles. They can change, they can have other words like data ninja or data owner or steward, which could be on the data engineer side or even some phase before that. 
However, the roles that I explained today are based on the role definitions on Microsoft's Learn platform. If you want to follow a learning path, then you can filter on the role and figure out the type of technologies that each of these personas would work with on Azure. You can go ahead and follow these for free and figure out which of these roles is a better fit for you or learn them all and be a data science unicorn.